So there's my butter. And we will just spread it. Boy, my dog. Wow, great. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna be showing you how to make butter slime. Now, butter slime has a very different texture, but it's but I don't know what I'm saying today. Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna be teaching you guys to how to make butter slime. If you are new to new, <laughs> if you are new to the channel, please subscribe to be part of the pickle jar and give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let's get on with the video now. You will be needing a bowl. I'm using two bowls today. Something to mix with. I'm using a spoon because it, it's harder and it, it has a wider space here so it's easier for me to mix with. Some glue. I'm using white glue today. Cornstarch because we are not using clay today. Clay. Body wash and I'm using this one. Dove. Some paint or food coloring. I'm just using paint because I have to, like, it makes the slime a little harder, so it's gonna be better. Some borax solution. Like, this worked be the best for me, so. But you could probably use other detergents. And a knife if you want to spread your butter. Start out with your bowl, your spoon, and your body wash. Yeah, not glue today, wow. Different starting, and you're gonna put about one tablespoon of body wash. That was some really weird farts. One more. There we go. Then take your paint, and you are gonna put that in. And you can put as much as you want, um, but do keep in mind that you have cornstarch and glue, which and the body wash, which which will make the color lighter. So I'm gonna put. A, oh, okay, my dog just jumped. Anyway, so yeah, um, it will make the color lighter. So keep in mind, and you're gonna mix well. Once you're done, you're going to take your glue. And you're going to pour about the same amount of body wash in. So I'm going to slowly do it. That seems good. Then you're going to mix. Once you have mixed well, you're going to slowly add, um, you're going to take a tablespoon of cornstarch and you're going to slowly add it and mix very well before adding more. So I'm gonna start with one tablespoon, and, or I think one tablespoon, and then you're going to mix well, like you're gonna mix so well, so well. Gonna add one more. There we go, and mix well again. I'm gonna put like half a ta tablespoon in, because it's not really that good yet. Okay. Once you have this lovely, pasty, texture, thick texture, you are now, make sure you mix it really well. Okay, you are now gonna add in, you gotta wait, 
your borax solution. Only add very little at a time because if you add too much, it's going to turn really rubbery and not buttery at all. Or buttery slimish at all. So just very little at a time. It's going to be really hard to mix because of like the cornstarch, but just keep on going. Gonna be like fluffy slime, but definitely is not fluffy slime. Because you're gonna change this texture after. <sighs> it's a workout though. Okay, I'll be back when I'm finished. Okay, so I'm done mixing this, and it pretty much forms a slime, but as you can tell, it's really sticky. So I'm going to use my hands, put this in my second bowl. Okay, my dog just scratched the door. I'm just going to start kneading this with my hands now, and adding borax. back when I'm finished kneading this. Okay, so I finished and here's what this looks like. Uh, you can leave it like this. It's basically really, 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 really fluffy slime. Or not really, really, but fluffy slime that can still spread like butter. To be honest, I like it like this. It doesn't stick at all. But if you want, you could add a little bit um, more borax to this. So you could take like, okay, just a second. Let me do this. Sorry, this is from the spoon. Anyways, you could take this. Oh, wow, okay, crazy, crazy, crazy. And you can add more cornstarch in, make it thicker, but it will be definitely um, stickier. So, yeah. I'm just gonna add in a little bit. And it'll also make your slime harder and faster when drying. Then I'm just gonna add a little bit in, cause I want it a little thicker. And this is, that, that is why I need the second bowl, so I don't make a mess. You're gonna just like, you're gonna just knead it and add more if needed. piece of slime fell out or came up or I should say escaped or tried to escape escape okay so I'm gonna sp um, split the slime in half the one of the half which is gonna be this one is going to be like this pokeable wait let me show you pokeable and spreadable But the other one, come on, okay, it's gonna go in ooh, customization, customization container thing, and it's gonna have more cornstarch than this, ooh, okay, than this one. 
All right. So then you can see the difference of each. So I made this one, which is the very corn starchy one, and it's still pretty stre stretchy, and it's definitely more moldable, keeps its shape more, while this one, even though it's really pokeable, and it is like slimy, slimy, and soft, it doesn't keep its shape as well. So, let's do the smudge contest now. Okay, so first one is this one. I'm gonna make a block of butter for both of them. So there's my butter. And we will just spread it. Now, my version doesn't really make um, those shape uh, those um, textures but if you want the textures you can always add more cornstarch it will make it thicker though so keep in mind as you see it's pretty um, spreadable though okay now moving on to this one so obviously I don't think I'll be able to make butter Here's my butter, and it does spread pretty well though. It's like really easy to spread. Pick this up now. And it's even pokeable for you poke slime lovers. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope these two difference, differences help you out. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to be part of the pickle jar. Anyways, I will see you all later without my butter. But it's really fun to spread it. Okay guys, bye!